Hello everybody, my name is Janusz Janiszewski, the Panza CEO, Kanzo champion for performance and charging scheme. Kanzo represents 34 air navigation service providers in Europe. We are the voice of the European air traffic management industry and globally we represent over 90% of world air traffic. The European Commission has published a legislative proposal to complete the digital single European sky with the objective of modernizing the management of European airspace and establishing more sustainable and efficient flight paths. Kanzo fully supports this goal. I would like to present to you Kanzo's positions on one important aspect of the proposal, namely the performance and charging scheme and how we think it could be improved in order to reach the Commission's objectives. The EU's performance and charging scheme is an essential element of the single European sky. In absence of a market, air traffic services provided under a monopoly are subject to performance regulation. The scheme therefore regulates the performance of air navigation services providers and how we are paid by our customers, the airspace users. Under the, the performance element of the scheme, the European Commission sets the EU-wide targets to be met by air navigation services providers. This currently cover four key performance areas. First, cost efficiency. Secondly, environment. Thirdly, capacity. And uh, last but not least, air safety. An air navigation services provider's performance under each key performance area is measured through monitoring tool known as a key performance indicators. The targets are established for each of these indicators. Key performance indicators and related targets are set for periods of five years, known as a reference periods. The process to establish this works as follows. In order to demonstrate how air navigation services provider will meet these EU-wide performance targets, at national level, the National Supervisory Authority in each country draws up a detailed performance plan for reference period. This is a business plan for NSPs. Depending on state's decision, such plan can also be drawn up jointly by some national supervisory authorities at the level of a functional airspace block. Under the charging element of the scheme, national supervisory authorities estimate the cost which their country's air navigation services provider will need to carry out their duties and meet their performance targets over a reference period. This estimate costs are also part of the performance plans. The charges rates are a function of this cost and forecasted traffic level. The scheme is overseen at EU level by the European Commission, which must review and approve the performance plans. The Commission is advised by an expert group known as the performance review body. The European Commission aims to strengthen the role of national supervisory authorities. To do this, it wants to introduce requirements for clear organizational separation from service provision functions and ensure appropriate resourcing. At the same time, the Commission wants to strengthen the role of the performance review body at EU level but it proposes to do this in a way that would detract from the responsibilities of the national supervisory authorities. The Commission would require the performance review body to set not only the framework performance targets at EU level, which is the Commission's current responsibility, but also targets at the level of each air traffic service provider, which is currently the responsibility of the national supervisory authorities in their performance plans. Furthermore, the national supervisory authorities would not longer have a role in developing and submitting the national performance plans, which would now be the responsibility of the air navigation service providers. 
The proposal would also give the Commission the power to introduce new key performance areas or to introduce a common unit rate of charge for the whole single European sky. Council supports the continuation of the performance and the charging scheme, and we agree that this is an opportunity time to reform it. We believe that the scheme should be based on an overarching objectives coordinated at the European level, with simplified regulation of air navigation services provider, performance and clarified responsibilities. Concretely, we support the following principles. Firstly, there should be a balanced approach between the European level and national performance regulation. European air traffic management performance can only be improved if local needs, specificities, sets up and constraints are adequately taken into account rather than applying a one-size-fits-all approach. This means that strong independent national supervisory authorities must be responsible for the implementation of the performance and charging scheme at national level. In particular, national supervisory authorities should remain involved in the development and submission of the national performance plans. The performance review body should not break this down into performance targets for each NSP, but rather it should then be the responsibility of national supervisory authorities and air navigation services providers to decide the best path to achieve this at national level. Secondly, the key performance indicators should be focused and outcome based. The key performance indicators are key for measuring air navigation services providers achievement of performance targets. We believe this should more accurately reflect the contribution of air navigation services providers to performance. For example, the environment key performance indicator should not penalize air navigation services providers for diverting traffic due to bad weather of if airlines fly a route different from the shortest available. Thirdly, there should be a balance between financial risk and incentives for NSPs. This should be implemented on a non-discriminatory and transparent basis. They should be flexible to allow for local circumstances. They should be known in advance by all stakeholders and they should apply during an entire reference period. Lastly, there should be institutional transparency and accountability. Roles and responsibilities at institutional level must be determined with reference to safety and service provision accountabilities. Thank you very much for listening to this presentation. At the end, I want to say that the framework should be as simple and transparent as possible. It should simplify and not complicate the already overly complex system. It should also simplify the institutional landscape, not adding bureaucracy and unnecessary costs. Kanzo believes it is important to get this reform right, as the revised legislation will set the framework for the performance and charging scheme for many years to come. We agree that the scheme can be made more effective. This should be done in a way that truly respects the diversity of Europe's skies. Kanzo has prepared a thematic position paper on this section of the CES 2 Plus proposal and also suggestions for amendments to reflect these principles. We would also be happy to discuss this with you. Thank you very much.